Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today I'm gonna show you a kind of fun build for PvP free for all area like into the open world. With this build you're gonna be able to not only engage but escape most of the fight. Uh, if you became good with this build you can beat most of the people and if you are not really good at the game this build will, will give you a good margin. Uh, if you do an escape, you, you can just run away and come back and just keep trying again and again till you find the proper angle of approach and win your duel. So I think this is a really good build to learn PvP into new world. Uh, I don't really like EV armor in PvP, but at the same time it's there and this is really meta right now. So... This is an AV armor build with a sword and shield and hatchet. I feel like this, the hatchet movement is amazing. And there's a bit of fruit on it. And then there's the, the sword and shield with some slow, some stagger, there's some stun. So there's a bit of everything in this build. So it's a good all around build for the, the free for all. Uh, I don't say that it's the best build, but what is nice about this is if you don't want to get bothered too much you just want to go take your chest nobody can bother you because you're gonna be able to escape anything with that and if you want to try to fight here and here you're gonna be able to fight and disengage, disengage without too much risk doing it and you see with all the haste and the the, the sword and shield have a leap and the, the, there's some slow built in into this build. It's just really hard to escape this as a mage. Like I'm a main mage and when I see someone with that type of build, I have a really hard time to escape and I don't like it. And this is one of the main reasons why I present this build today. It's because it's one of my biggest counter. Mostly if you get good at it and you go in like medium or light armor. In light armor you're going to have more chance to do a good combo and kill me with me with AV armor. Uh, maybe I'm going to be able to run away. Maybe because I have good movement and I'm an, I, I, like, I know what I do. But a bad mage... If you, had a, yeah, if you have a bad weapon combo, a bit bad skill combo, and you don't have any escape ability, he's not going to be able to escape. Like any ranged or whatever, to just, you're just going to run at them and kill them. It's not going to be hard. And you can even block their projectile. I'm not really doing it in my gameplay because I, I don't like it. But you can do it and it works. And the blocking in New World is OP. Like really, really OP. So let's get straight into the build and then after that there's going to be the gameplay. I got into the, the free for all area and on my first life I go and pa 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 I kill three dude. It took a while like every one of those dude was trying really hard with their life and it was not really bad player. So it took a while. You need to remember that I am not playing in a fresh start server. I am playing in Maramo one of the best PvP server in the world. First of all, I want to know what you guys like on the hatchet because I know there is a couple variant build. Uh, there's the throw that does a root too. So I was like in conflict between using the the like the jump forward that does the root or the throw. Maybe using both of them instead of the raging torrent, you know. But if you use the raging tor, if you take off the raging torrent. Then you're gonna lose some haste, so it's gonna be easy, or like harder to survive. So, alright, alright, this is the build I use. As you can see, I have Jasper in my weapon because, uh, yeah, when retaliate, it's pretty good. It put me to my empower cap straight up. Uh, it, it's big, big empower. I put it on my hatchet too because I face tank people. I think the emerald would be a nice thing. Because the emerald would, would help me to finish my kill. And sometimes people are running away and they are pretty hard to kill. And they wait that their life is pretty low before using their escape ability. The Azad Crystal is a really easy set to get from the mutation. The mutation is like the dungeon version that is like harder like M1, M2, M3. You're gonna get it that and then you can upgrade it and change the health on it. Because... Health is not the best perk in PvP and what happened? 
uh the my main weakness is if someone have like a disease on his weapon it's gonna be harder for me to regain because the perk held gonna give me a lot of held because i have a couple piece you know i just took the, the some piece with health and i had health on my void door place it's like it was a pve build and i just use it because health is great in pve not gonna lie but in pvp Health, it's a bit useless, like not useless, but like in duel, like in group combat when you need a tank, it's nice. But look, with trust conditioning, it's way better if you think about it. Or like slash conditioning, fire conditioning, uh, you see shirking fortification. There's a lot of, of good enchanted ward. Uh, you see that. There's a lot of better perk than Enchanted for the armor, mostly for like, yeah, I don't think it's the mid perfect mid max. So yeah, I just took this PvE build and used it into PvP. Uh, since I have good trust resistance and with the the amulet too, I decided to put some moonstone in my gear. So I have 15% resistance to the slash. I have uh, like a lot of resistance like 15 there uh five there five there like 20 percent to trust and the rest i put two fire gems so i got my elemental covered and the rest is this but what happened is uh i've seen a dude who had like a void gauntlet at great axe and it, it, he was hitting me pretty good he ran away and like we were not able to kill each other because he was not really dealing great damage but he was still leeching enough of me so we cannot like kill each other without taking too much risk. So both of us was not like willing to commit enough to, to give our life away. So yeah, like uh, by having a bit more like if I put some opal into this build instead of the, the diamond and maybe instead of the, the ruby that would be good a bit just to cover. Uh, all the element because yeah I, I kind of saw that my weakness was the void element with this build right now uh, fortified shing rush you know it's amazing I don't think I need sturdy and sturdy energy I could find something better I'm pretty sure I have other shields somewhere sitting on this account but I you know I just put what I have and use it sometime I, I just gone into that zone I was I did not know I was going to do a clip or anything. I just put it on just to see what's going to happen. And boom, I kill all those people. So yeah, I feel like refreshing move is great for the DPS. Uh, it's why I have it. But uh, having leeching on my hatchet, you see, uh, I think the next time I'm going to use a... Uh, I know that I have one somewhere there with at the life stealing. It's gonna help me survive into my duel and face tank the people because right now I feel like everyone have like some life stealing and some shirking heal and stuff like that. And this is what it, it's missing to this build. Like instead of having health, if I had sh shirking heal, that would be better. Like there, there's a lot um, to, to understand about that. I, I like the refreshing move a lot. But it's better on the sword than the than the hatchet because on my hatchet build you will see uh, there's some ability that I use uh, and when you're using ability you're not benefiting of refreshing move but you are benefiting of leeching. So the Tangle Vine Amulet is a nice all around for like you go and get it, you upgrade that and you're going to be able to use it in most of your build uh, in PvP. I really like the Tangle Vine Amulet. I think during that clip I had this, but I kind of realized that I'm probably Empower Cap, so it's why I switched to this one. I'm still not sure which one I had, but uh, yeah, the Slash Damage and the Mortal Empowerment are both Empowerment, and if you are Empowerment Cap, they are gonna do nothing for you, but still, this ring is amazing, and I like to use it. Uh, I did a lot of clip with this this ring with the Great Axe and Blunderbuss, but yeah, for this build, I decided to opt for this one since I'm probably already empowered cap with the AV attack from the 
the, the sword and then the retaliate gem and then yeah, berserker and leadership and etc. I opt for fortifying toes because I don't have the um, endless thirst earring in this account. But yeah, I need to get endless thirst. I think I'm gonna get it by doing some OPR. So yeah, this is it for that. Uh, I think this is what I used, so I got the two bonus over there, and I wish I could be able to reach this. If you do this build with 150 con, you're gonna get a, a good significant amount of damage from that, but at 200 con, uh, it's, it's a good upgrade in physical, so it's pretty hard to choose between both. Uh, both of those weapons, the hatchet and the sword, are scaling more of strength. So this is why I build it like this. And damage increase to ability is like for the, um, the hatchet. You're gonna see I have the raging torrent. So what happened is uh, sometime in PvP you want some haste. And hitting a target with Raging Torrent give 20% haste for 6 seconds. So it's a huge haste that lasts long. So if you uh, rotate between those two haste, you are sure to never have, like, you're always gonna have a haste on. So, like, look, this one is 20% and it's during, like, 12 seconds. So just with that you can escape kind of everyone and then if the dude managed to reach you and you still want to run you just hit him twice with the, ra the raging torrent and then boom you, you run away and you have 6 seconds of it it's crazy and then if you still cannot run away then you can leaping strike away uh, you can like even shield rush in first so you apply a slow and a weaken and then you leaping strike away and you, you the dude is slow, he cannot catch up to you and you run man, like it's just like that, you can uh, you can shield bash him too, uh, like and, and run, it work so the shield bash is very nice, uh, if you have mostly there's a um, how to say that, there's a amulet somewhere Yeah, I don't have it on this account, I think, or it's uh, somewhere in my locker. There's an amulet that augments the stun duration. It's an artifact. So if you go look for amulet artifact, you're going to see it. it. It augments the stun duration, and it can be good for sword and shield build, but I think it's going to be better for sword and shield build with like a spear or a hammer, whatever you have a stun in. Because uh, that hatchet don't have a, a stun, you see what I mean? You only have one stun, so it's why I opt for this uh, build with the shield badge that lasts less long. But you don't really need it to last longer, you see what I mean? Like, most of the time you just want to, to shield bash someone to land the EV attack on him. You're gonna land the EV attack, it's gonna give you 30% in power, and then you're gonna try to hit him as much as you can. Uh, there's a slow right there on the leaping strike, so this is a really good slow. If you have the weapon perk for leaping strike, you're gonna get it harder. This is probably one of the main things that I'm missing in this build when I just think about it. Like, seriously, I need this perk. I probably had it somewhere and I just realized that th this build don't have this perk. I just build it too quick and go in the PvP zone without thinking. This perk is amazing for PvP, you need it. Like, if you really want to make good DPS with this build, you need that. The haste is amazing too, you know what I mean? Like, uh, incoming healing, it's your potion, uh, everything, like the regeneration, whatever. So I think this is a big buff too. Uh, and yeah, the slow, you want it. Leadership, it's good. I, like, yeah. So this is my hatchet tree, uh, how to say that, this is pretty good, I feel like dodging uh, gonna save your life, sometimes dodging comes some less stamina, so uh, it's like being immune during the moment, it's great, 
this when the people run away it it, it do a uh, root and this ability have a stagger to and even in a face-to-face -face combat like uh like i said the other dude was there with the void blade and he was going to leech on me and every time i was using the feral rush on him it was staggering him and he was not able to leech on me during that moment and it was one of the reasons why he was not able to kill me and then he had to run away and then i had to catch up to him he, when he regained and then he, he, he ran away after me it was just doing this and that non-stop but since you're using an EV armor, this is always what's going to happen with good players that have good build. Uh, because you're going to have enough escape ability to run and you're going to be too much tanky to kill each other without enough DPS. So this is why you're going to see most of my clip with like a light armor because I like big DPS. So yeah, this is it for this video. Tell me if you like that type of content. Uh, there's gonna be the gameplay part now with some music. Tell me which type, which type of music you guys would like. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and tell someone you love them. Peace out. <laughs>